Hey everyone, today is Sunday, my hair is wet, my eyelashes are uneven and I'm going to do a DNA test. So I've wanted to do one of these for ages, um, one of these ones, this one is from My Heritage DNA. It's one of the ones where you kind of tells you all the percentage of all the different sort of locations that your DNA says that you are from or that historically your DNA is from, so back down the line of your heritage or so on and so forth. Either way it's DNA test. I went with MyHeritage as opposed to Ancestry.com because for one MyHeritage do it a little bit quicker, they reckon that about two to four weeks to get your results and they were also on sale so I got two. The other one is for my boyfriend so you have one for me, one for him and I think I kind of have an idea of where some of mine is going to be from because I know that I have Irish descent on both sides of my family. Although I suspect that his is actually going to be slightly more interesting than mine because apparently his lineage goes back to like Spanish pirates and things like that. So if his is more interesting than mine, I'm not going to be happy but it'll still be a very interesting and it's kind of exciting thing to do. Now these boxes are actually really posh because they do this. I think that's quite cool. So I need to go and set this up online which I will do once I finish filming. Let's have a look and see what's in here. So there's my DNA kit activation reminder, I'm going to do that online in a bit. Handy little book of instructions. Step one, activate your kit online, will do. Step two, open the test kit, lay out the unopened swabs and vials on a clean surface. I don't really have an immediate surface around me. Step three, remove one cheek swab from its wrapper. Use the swab head to scrape the inside of one of your cheeks whilst rotating the swab for 30 to 60 seconds. Open one vial, insert the swab inside, swab end down. Once the swab touches the bottom of the vial, break the swab against the inside of the edge of the vial at the black marked line, leaving the swab inside and inside liquid in the vial. Okay. Step six, swab the other cheek with the second swab, insert the swab into the second vial, break the swab end off, blah blah blah. Number seven, make sure vial caps are tightly closed, place Place both vials on the cotton pad in the clear plastic bag, close a ziplock. Now place the bag in the enclosed addressed envelope, seal it. Step 8. Post. They do provide you with a little handy pre-addressed envelope, biohazard bag. Okay, well, that is obviously what they go in. Oh, look at this! These are my swabs. So obviously this end here is your little cotton bud end, goes in here, swabs the inside of your cheek, and you break it off at this little black mark here. Okay, and here are my vials. Look at these, they're tiny and there is some kind of unknown liquid in there. I don't know whether that's water, some kind of preservative. I don't know what that is, but sure. So I'm going to do mine and then my boyfriend will be doing his off camera and they'll be, go be going in the post tomorrow. Right, so this is going to get awkward now because I am obviously devoid of any realistic surface to put these on. Probably should have thought this out a bit better. Sterile flocked collection device. It, it's basically a cotton bud. Okay, so I feel like I've watched enough like true crime dramas and stuff to know how this goes. Okay, that's probably the strangest thing I've done on camera. Here you go. One little swap. So 20 to 30 seconds is obviously quite a long time actually. Let's do either side. That is really, really, really awkward. So number two. Okay, so there they are, my little DNA samples. If anyone wants to intercept the post at any point and steal those so you can clone me in the future should you that take your fancy. Yeah, two little lots of my DNA. And spit, which is gross. So they're going in the post tomorrow, should get those back in about two weeks time. We're going to go and do my boyfriend's now, we hope to see he's not going to do those on camera. But I will see you guys hopefully in not too long for the actual results which I'm dead excited for. Hey everyone! DNA results are ready. So it actually took a quite a bit longer than I was expecting for these to come back. My boyfriend's came back really quickly. Mine have taken weeks although they have been sat in my inbox for a while because I was too ill to film for a bit. So. His came back and they weren't as kind of exotic, is that the right word to use, as we were expecting. His are basically 100% Irish, Scottish and Welsh. He was a little bit disappointed. I'm kind of hoping mine can be more kind of varied because it's taken longer. So we'll see. So Laura, are you ready to explore your ethnicity? Yes I am. Let's go. Laura, you are 55.7% 
Scottish, Irish and Welsh. It's only kind of half. 21.7 North and West European. So that's kind of like France and Germany, that kind of area. 14.6% English. 1.8% Finnish. Maybe that's where the very pale skin comes from? 0.8% Middle Eastern. Well, okay then. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So Irish, I was definitely expecting because I do somewhere down the line have Irish heritage. My surname's Irish, obviously it's my dad's surname and his dad's surname and all the rest of it. And then it's Irish on my mum's side of the family as well. So that I was expecting. Scottish, okay, sure. And Welsh, yeah, sure, why not? I am far less English than I thought I was going to be. Like, I thought I'd be like 100% English, I've got to be honest. Finnish, definitely wasn't expecting that. North and West European is, as I said, by this it kind of defines it as like sort of France, Germany, kind of those sort of areas, Austria. I have no idea where the 0 0.8 Middle Eastern comes into it though. It's not really defined as anything beyond Middle Eastern, so I'm kind of going to assume kind of the Iraq kind of area. But yeah, that was uh, slightly unexpected. And um, I think I think my other half might be ever so slightly jealous that mine was a bit kind of more varied than his. I know he was disappointed. I'm not disappointed or as I'm just kind of puzzled as to where the Middle Eastern comes in because as far as I know, I'm just English as fuck. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That was me doing a DNA test. Um, would I recommend these? I mean, I guess you think if you know that you kind of do have like a really varied heritage then it probably could be really interesting. So I have a family friend who's done one and she was like Turkish, Chinese, Finnish, Scandinavian and it was crazy, it was all over the place so it was really interesting for her when she did hers. But yeah, I think if you are generally curious then yeah, sure. But would I pay full price for it? I don't know. I think the reason I actually got them is because they happened to be on sale when I looked at the website so, you know. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below, have you done a DNA test and what were your results? Were they as expected? Were they way out there and not what you expected at all? Or were you actually kind of disappointed because it sort of didn't tell you what you expected it to tell you? Yeah, I hope this has been in some way enjoyable and I will see you all in the next one. And as for you per usual, all my social media links are down below. Feel free to give me a follow on any of them and I will see you guys soon. Love you all.